Wednesday Comics! SGC here! Let's do the comic thing! Mega Man Archie Comics. Things are pretty different. No more robots, but fighting humans. All the robot rules. How are they gonna figure this one out? Higher Earth by Sam Humphreys, the same guy that wrote Fanboy vs. Zombies. This is pretty different. I mean, sci-fi-ish and lots of Earths. Got it for a dollar. Pretty interesting stuff. We'll look out for issue two. Frankenstein. My goodness, Steve Niles and Bernie Wrightson. Wow, wow, wow. This takes place apparently after the novel Frankenstein, but man, this is great stuff. Wrightson's art is just wow. This is just really, really good. And then the conversation they had at the back of the issue. Wish I watched Frankenstein when I was six or whatever. But yeah. Issue 2, hurry up! Mind the Gap! Reminds me of the whole Mind the Gap thing between when you're going on subways, like the gap between the station and the train thing. Interesting concept, the whole I'm unconscious and now I'm in a world of unconscious people. Apparently I got the boring cover. Yeah, so there was two covers, I got this one. I don't know, just like the face sort of just spoke out to me when I first saw it. I'm like, I gotta get this. And I did. I don't know how I'm doing about choices because a lot of like creator owned stuff by image right now is just... There's something happens and then there's a twist in the end. But at least the twist is good, unlike what happens with Morning Glories. Nick Fury Max! Yeah! Ennis is back! Or maybe he wrote some other stuff, but I didn't catch it. But yeah, I grabbed this because of Ennis and it's Nick Fury. I'm sort of sick of the whole Samuel L. Jackson being the Fury because this to me is Fury. I missed the whole all Nick Fury action during Secret of Warriors. I mean, I miss Secret Warriors. I wish it come back with more Nick Fury action. But this was awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Wolverine and X-Men. Man, uh, emo fest here. Like, I get it. People are just not sure where they're going. But it was kind of cool. Good good art here by Bacalo. Bacalo, I can't pronounce. But yeah, it was good. Like the whole Emo Fest conversation. It was good in terms of art. But the storyline didn't really push it anywhere. I didn't see it going. Because I mean, everyone's sort of like conflicted. Like, oh, should I save Hope or kill Hope or whatever. But yeah, next issue. I look forward to that. Because I think there's more action coming along. B -b -b Batman. He is owning now. Night of the Owls. Beware, beware, beware. With his bat suit of huge proportions you can own all these owls and not feel bad about it because they regenerate and yeah finally after all these issues of just being owned he can finally fight back now yeah that's it for wednesday comics but before we end with comics just wanted to bring this up free comic day this was amazing a free comic is a hardcover oh my goodness like free comic but it's a hardcover arcaea 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 I can't pronounce, but yeah, this was awesome because I mean, you have Mouse Guard, Labyrinth, Return of the Dapper Man, Rust, Curse Pirate Girl, and Cowboy. Wow, 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 wow. Hope you grab one of these because Arkea was going crazy nuts on this free comic day. And that is all for comics TV. So right as I record this, I found out that Community was finally renewed for 13 episodes. That is great, 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 great news. I hope the same goes for Parks and Rec, because, I mean, both are awesome, and, yeah, I just hope NBC somehow found more money so they can, like, fund these great shows. So, yeah, that just came in, so if you watch this later, it might be old news, but whatever. Next is Game of Thrones. Oh, my goodness, Game of Thrones. I haven't talked about it for three episodes, and right now, no spoilers, because some people just can't deal with spoilers that I never talk about. But, yeah, let's talk about the actors. Brienne, wow. She is a giant, just like her novel counterpart. And yeah, it is going well. Ingrid, the flaming head that Jon Snow meets up, is a yeah, pretty good cast. Like, whoa, didn't whoa, didn't see her as that pretty in the book. But yeah, she is somewhat supposed to be attractive to Jon Snow anyway. But it works here. I must say the pacing of the series is going quite well compared to the first episode where it just felt like it was jumping everywhere. It was like snippets, 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 snippets. But now that there's an established storyline for each snippet, 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 that every time we go there, you know that something's gonna be great. Every time they change to a location, there's like progression and it's good progression. And that is all for today's video of comics and TV show. Before I leave, I'll just leave you with a slight snippet of my Fan Expo experience. I will probably do a whole, just whole video for Fan Expo. But before the video ends, you can check what I saw briefly and what I got. So, 
Yeah, see ya. Batmobile. In the middle there. Look at the camera. Do you mind if my friends don't? So here's Ian's sketch and painting. Awesome, awesome. Yeah. Not very good speaking to the camera. Like it, subscribe, check it out.